Hi, my name is Tom. I'm EMC engineer from Poland. Today I'd like to invite you to video course Introduction to Electromagnetic Compatibility. What it is electromagnetic compatibility? Because it's one of the biggest problem in product compliance for electronics equipment. I've seen many problems in laboratory because I used to work in one of biggest EMC laboratory in Poland. Also, I'm EMC consultant, so I help people to solve problems and understand how it works, how to solve problems, how to measure, how to prepare test plans and make good design for EMC, design of system or design of PCB. So, EMC electromagnetic compatibility. Also, sometimes we can find EMI. So, EMI electromagnetic interference. So, electromagnetic compatibility, it means that all devices, all systems, radio systems, all electronics equipment need to work in one electromagnetic environment without problems uh, with good properties. So, we've got two aspects in EMC. One aspect is emission. Emission, it means that our device need to emit some radiation and conducted aspects in some limits. So we need to control the level of noise that our equipment produce. What are the source of this noise? I will tell you in next video, but we've got emission. So our device to be under the limits according to standards. We've got different standards for different environments. We've got industrial, home appliance, automotive, military, avionics, and so on, so on. But this aspect is very important to protect radio devices, to protect transmission. So the level of our electromagnetic interference that our device produce must be very, very low. Other aspect of electromagnetic Compatibility is immunity or susceptibility. Immunity Immunity means that your device must to work according to your properties working properly even if we've got some disturbances around in our environment in our world. For example, we've got radio transmitters and it can hurt our device, can be disrupted by this field. Also, we've got some short interruptions, uh, burst transients in our power supply. So those uh, things we need to check to make sure that our pro device will work properly. Of course, in European Union, we've got a little bit different. In US market, a little bit different, but the physical aspects are the same. So emission and immunity. Also emission, we can split for two aspects, radiated emission and conducted emission. Radiated aspect we measure with antennas, so we've got electromagnetic field, electromagnetic waves that we need to measure. Conducted emission we measure on cables using different devices like listens, line impedance stabilization networks, artificial main networks, or coupling, the coupling networks, or different probes, voltage or current probes. <laughs> After a few uh, modules, I will show you test setups, how it works. And also 
in immunity we've got the same aspects. So we've got radiated immunity and conducted immunity because we need to check if our device is immune for fields, electromagnetic fields, for example from radio transmitters and also conducted immunity uh, from power supply but also input and output. So we've got different aspects when we can see problems with electromagnetic compatibility. We need the source, source of our noise, transmission line and for example antenna for radiated emission. We've got different coupling methods so we can have inductive couplings and also capacitive couplings. We've got near field, far field, we've got many aspects but this is those aspects how to test how to what kind of phenomenon, physical phenomenon are behind those tests are very important because we need to protect our device from different disturbances from uh, external world and also we need to make sure that our device is uh, under the limit. So we've got different test methods, the different coupling uh, paths or, or different uh, current paths. So we need to understand how the current flows according to impedance but I will tell you much more in next videos. Today I'd like to invite you for this short course introduction to electromagnetic compatibility. Under this video you've got links with description and you can sign for this and be engineer that understand all those aspects to make your designs better according to EMC or EMI aspects. My name is Tom, Tomasz Utkowski from Poland. Please share this video with your colleagues if it's helpful for you. Please let me know which aspects are interested for you because We've got many aspects, we've got switching mode power supplies, we've got transmission, radio and so on so on. So many problems, but here is overview of electromagnetic compatibility. See you in the next video.